soldier. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap. What's up, Q and Squad? And you know we going hard, cause y'all about to slay with your girl today. So today we're doing a review on the ill. Like, I don't even know how to say it right, but I'm gonna say it so y'all please don't judge me. The ill maquillage foundation. I took the quiz and you know, you know, they be like, buy my shade and everything and answer these questions and they'll find your perfect match of shade, you know, for their foundation and stuff. So I did that we probably like two, like two weeks ago and this package just came. I got the foundation and this concealer. So hopefully the color they picked for me is right because they said that, <clears throat> that their stuff is like, you know, a perfect match if you do the quiz and stuff. So let's test that theory and let's open this package. First off, I'm loving this package. It feels so smooth and everything. I really like how they did that. Il Maquillage New York. So we're about to go ahead and open this bad boy. And this is what it looks like on the inside. All right, you guys. So it says untraditional, uncompromised, and undeniably extra. That's what it says on the box. I'm going to read this card right here that they brought. They say over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. Apply two pumps to your entire face and jaw. Girl, two pumps. Baby, I use more than two pumps. We're going to see how that works. They said number two, blend it out with a brush or a sponge, not by hand. I wouldn't go through that anyway. Number three, wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking the shade. Wait five minutes. Number four, don't match to your neck or wrist. There are different tones than your face. Okay. And then it said, finish your face with concealer, brush, and bronzer. And it said, wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. I'm not gonna wear for a full week if it's, you know, if it work, it work. If it don't, I'll just use it for my makeup clients and stuff that I've kept. So, I have bought some concealer. So this is the concealer. Like at the bottom, it say "fuck flawless." <laughs> okay, it say "multi-use perfection concealer." It say "anti-creases and everything." So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. How many fluid ounces is this? This is only 0.23 fluid ounces. Oh, this is nice. So this is the color. This is the color they said that should be my perfect concealer. So hopefully it is my perfect concealer. So that's that. Then here's the foundation. The packaging is so gorgeous as well. It's the woke up like this. That's what it says right here. It's um one fluid ounce. That's how much you know most makeup brands have their foundation usually be one fluid ounce. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, oh this box fans. So look how it opened. Hold the front door. Let me take this tape off. Let me show y'all how this thing opens. Look. Oh, it's like a Let's try it again. Like it opened just like that. That's just make you feel like when I open it. So it looks very nice. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this look like from the bottle, it look like it'll be my perfect shade. This is the color <clears throat> 225, woke up like this. That's why they had woke up like this on it. That's the name of the foundation, so I didn't know that. And it says it's good for 18 months. You see it at the bottom. This one is, um, the concealer only good for 12 months, foundation 18 months. So. Oh, and they got something else up in here. Okay. Oh, they gave me an ink liner. Oh, they gave you that for free because I did not purchase that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's nice. So they gave me 
their ink liner in black and I'm gonna use that for this look as well. Let's see how this applicator looks. Oh, sharp tip, I like that. So, we're gonna go right ahead with the concealer. That's why I, my eyebrows looking like they're looking kind of like, I was like, I almost did my eyebrows off camera, but I was like, I need to use the concealer to put in this box. So hopefully this is my color. So, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, you guys, so for this concealer, I like it. Like, y'all might think it's a little too light, but for real, me personally, this is how I have my concealer color. And, like, <clears throat> if y'all see most of my videos and my content, I like my eyebrows to be like this. If y'all hear that scooting, that's my daughter. She coming down the stairs. Y'all might see her, too. Mommy doing her makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like this is kind of, I thought it was going to be a little thicker than what it is, but it's not. I'm not mad at it. Oh, yeah, I'm not mad at it though. But I still like the consumer so far. I'll probably get like an 8 out of 10 at the moment just with the eyebrows. I was thinking it was gonna be a little thicker than that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes and then we'll go back and then I'm gonna set my face, put my face, and you know, do all the skincare stuff and then I'll come back for the foundation. Yeah, all right, you guys, I just did something simple with my eye look, just something you know, gold and quick, real quick. Now I'm about to put this eyeliner on, then we're gonna go right to the foundation because I forgot about the eyeliner. So I wanted to show y'all this should look. I wanted to show y'all this step so y'all can know if y'all wanna get this eyeliner or if it end up, you know, randomly coming in your box like mine did, thankfully. You can, you know, see how it's used. You guys, this liner is amazing. Like, as soon as you apply it, it's like, oh, it shows up very good because I don't have plenty of these types of, you know, eyeliner pencils and stuff like that. And a lot of them you have to like press on to get it, you know, to show up and stuff. So, I really like that you don't have to put that much pressure. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite girl. She's very easy. But, yeah, I really love this. I bought a pencil, so if y'all want to purchase, go ahead and become your box. Use it, baby. So you guys, I already done prepped my skin. Then I used my um <clears throat> my Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewinder Concealer, you know, for my dark spots and stuff like that. So the foundation can, you know, be shown at its full potential. So I'm about to go ahead and put this on. You guys, I don't know about this color, but it did say wait five minutes. Oh, whatever. It said wait five minutes. Okay, I'm going to wait five minutes. I think I need more than this, honestly, because, like, this is my face. It do have some good coverage, but. Oh, what about my forehead? I don't have any. Uh-uh, 
that ain't working. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna have to do a pump and a half or something, cause that ain't working. I need a pump and a half. I know y'all hear her being petty. Alright guys, so I guess I'm going to sit here and wait five minutes like the paper said. It already been like two or three, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. And then uh, I'm going to put the concealer on and do the rest of my routine real quick. And then we're going to see the finished look. And uh, I'll be right back. Right, you guys so this is the finished look right here my thoughts on this foundation is i love the foundation i'm a, i'm gonna use more pumps like the two pumps for me i like a full 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 coverage and this might be full coverage but the two pumps don't be getting it like i said the two pumps are not getting it for me like it do look nice but me i like hmm i think two okay okay ain't gonna lie the two pumps they do look nice they do look a little just okay but usually i want a more full of full coverage i'm gonna see my dog she on her little toy and like the concealer okay um i give the foundation a like i give the foundation a 9 out of 10 because i feel like they could have got my color more correct with the quiz or whatever but this concealer it's the right color but the Okay, like I said, with the concealer, I like the concealer color that they chose for me because that's mostly what I use, you know, for my under eye. I usually use a color probably as bright as this and then go in with the little darker concealer around that part like y'all saw. <clears throat> like y'all saw. And stop, little girl. But the thing I don't like about this concealer, I don't think this concealer is full coverage. I feel like it's not all the way full coverage because I had to apply more concealer under my under eye because I felt like it wasn't covering all the dark marks. 
Like I said, with the concealer under my eye, I felt like it wasn't covering all of my dark spots. Like, you know, my little dark spots, dark circles and shit. I mean, and stuff. And like, I had to put some more concealer under there. Like, I like the overall thing, but like, with my other concealer that I use, only got to use it one time and it's like full coverage. Yeah. And y'all saw how when I blend it out, it wasn't as full as I, you know what I mean? But the concealer, I give it a 6 out of 10 because... The cover should be a little more fuller but overall the foundation that i wanted the most i really love it i like the color that they chose i probably could have went a little bit darker but as they said they was right after like five minutes of me waiting and stuff it um it started to do a little better you know on the color wise and like, i keep looking at it like y'all it looks pretty good like i like this foundation and everything the foundation better be good because i pay a pretty penny for both of these let me see how much i paid for this i think they got it up in here the receipt yes so my daughter keep messing with the light switch over there so the foundation they didn't tell me how much the foundation this stuff was Oh, yeah, but they do give you a mystery gift. So my mystery gift was this eyeliner. Overall, I really love this foundation, you guys. The quiz, it did pretty good, you know, with matching my skin tone. As y'all can see, this looked pretty good. And like, if y'all want to know the highlighter I use, I use the Juvia's Place Loose Pigment Highlighter in the color Nubian. I really love that highlighter. If you've been on my channel, I always use that highlighter because it's my favorite. I have other highlighters, but this is the best so far so thank you guys for watching this tutorial slash review on the ill makage or makage or y'all know what it's called baby and thank you guys for watching this tutorial slash review don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you better not forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time i make a video and i love you guys y'all already know qm squad we is going hard because y'all already slayed with your girl today so that is it and i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye say bye bye she's gonna do it it's okay